I mean, what does Arabella? Anything you, different you did with your prep and training this time around than you've done in the past? Yeah, I'm actually um, solo this prep, um, so that's you know a, a tw definitely taking a risk. Um, I wore a different color, so that's definitely taking another risk. So I, I believe this sport's about taking risks. Making a fire. Good morning, Maggie. Good morning, guys. We're making a fire for Gigi at 11. Uh, yeah. We're making a fire for you? Because mm -hmm. you're cold? I'm always cold, huh? Wow, what a life. Fire in the Fresh morning? Bondi. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bondi? What are you doing, Bondi? What's up everybody, good morning. Um, I'm starting off my day with prepping some meals because I don't have any more food left. I have a little bit of chicken left but I don't have any carbs or I don't have any vegetables. So today I'm actually gonna make this. I didn't end up making it the other day. And then I'm gonna make some asparagus and I'm going to mix some mushrooms in there. And then I'm also gonna make this brown rice medley. So these are normally the seasonings, seasonings that I use. I use um, virgin olive oil, and then I use this from Kirkland, but I gotta get the olive oil cooking spray. That's what I normally use, but this is what I'm using right now because that's the only thing I have. Um, and then I have um, pepper. I think garlic salt is my main go-to seasoning. I am having my second meal of the day and what I wanted to address was um, I'm actually going to take my supplements right now but what I've been doing is I've been taking them with my second meal and the reason being is because normally I get nauseous when I take this many pills and so um, I just like a lot of people like I'm not I wasn't super consistent with it so what I've found is that if you have a bigger solid meal with your supplements then you don't get nauseous like I used to get nauseous for like an hour like I literally used to just kind of just sit there for like an hour because I was so sick and so I wouldn't be consistent with them so a tip on that is after I'm eating after I'm done eating this entire meal I'm gonna take my supplements so I'm not taking them first thing in the morning because I get so nauseous um, and my aches and oats it's not a really heavy meal so this is a heavy meal and this does not cause me to get nauseous after taking my supplements so any of you that struggle with that that's what I've been doing and it I get I don't get nauseous whatsoever which is very surprising so take that into consideration what's up guys so i just got out of a meeting right now and now i'm i'm actually across the street from the gym at the starbucks it's actually really nice there's like a subway there's all kinds of just like really cool little food courts 
um, around Santa Monica, which I love. So I'm gonna go kill some chesticles and um, triceps. And uh, my friend came to visit this month, which is my period today. So it doesn't matter if you start your period, you better still get your butt in the gym because it is possible. And even if you're not feeling good, I don't care. Beat that voice, beat your period, whatever you gotta do, get in the gym. Um, but also, I just put out the video for Beating Money Hall yesterday, Monty Hall, and um, I said it was um, deal or no deal, but actually the game show is called Making a Deal, specifically, because I see a bunch of girls in the comments, a bunch of you girls correcting me on that, so um, I do apologize, actually, it is making a deal but it's the same thing deal or no deal making a deal um the voice that tries to make a deal with you you know that you're not good enough to overcome your negative voice on a daily basis but you are so do whatever you gotta do and i will see you guys in the gym right now so real you have to get a video shot just names or ownership but it's the same exact area 
So I've been getting down on the backyard, like cleaning the crap out of it because we have people coming over tomorrow. And um, we tried to go to this Mexican rest or Mexican market, but they didn't have the right carne asada meat. And to get to a store right now is going to be uh, like 35 minutes because be on the right. of all the traffic going on because it's Friday. So I'm going to go make a trip tomorrow to the Mexican market. But right now, what are you listening to? It's called brain food. <laughs> We've been listening to brain food, food music for the last couple days. But um, what I was gonna say was, I'm actually gonna go tan real quick at Palm Beach and I'm gonna get a spray tan and then I'm gonna go get my nails done because I need to look a little bit decent tomorrow. And Garrett actually, funny story, used to tan at the same Palm Beach. I don't I know guess. if it was called Palm Beach, but it was this location. Parked in this parking lot, came to this place 12 years ago. Wow, when he used to go to UCLA. So this is Garrett's old stomping grounds. So I think I got like an instant bronze and I hope my freaking face doesn't turn like the color of a yam. But um, I'm doing the unlimited tanning right now and it's like for 40 bucks and it's spray tan. So I did the mystic tan and I'm trying not to go into the booth anymore because that's what I've done for a long time. I got spray tans but I didn't like the smell. But they actually have these really cool like smell things now to where um, it actually cancels out the like spray tan smell because that's what I was telling the lady. I didn't like the spray tan smell so I smell like vanilla like fresh right now. And I'll tell you guys my exact concoction that I get if you guys are liking my spray tan and how it looks tomorrow. I hope I don't look like a freaking pumpkin. <laughs> but um, so easy and just so easy. And spray tanning like doesn't ruin your skin as much as the bed would. Um, but anyway, we are headed back to the house right now because I am going to go to the nail salon. It's actually like not even a block from my house. So that's very nice. I'm gonna walk to my nail salon. So crossing my fingers, hoping that they're good so that I can just walk to my nail salon all the time. Cause that, like I've said, my nails are super crusty and this one has been broken for a while, doing all that crazy work. Oh, and I got a sliver today in my hand. You guys can't see it, but I've been going hardcore today in the back, dumping garbage, picking up stuff, sweeping and all that. So gotta get all pretty and girly fed now. Okay, I have to share something really quick. Garrett is very clever, and he just wrote a caption on Instagram, and it's freaking hilarious. I have to show you guys. So, we took this picture yesterday in the garage, and it's of him standing in his um, new standing frame, and the caption says, standing 6'3 and sitting 4'3, I hold both titles of Jessica's tallest and shortest boyfriend. Hashtag double threat. Got him. That's pretty good, babe. Thank you. It's pretty damn good. That's why I love you. You're so, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, witty. Yeah, witty. Charming, handsome. <laughs> oh, okay, now, now I'm done with you. Now I'm done. <laughs> What are you eating? What are you eating? Bonsai. You're eating at dinner. <laughs> so I am eating my last meal because it took us forever at the nail shop. Maggie's eating a burrito. And look how clear this room is now for our little party. So we are at the nail shop, I kid you not. For like three hours, no joke. We just got out, it's 10.30. This is how my nails look. They're very natural looking. I did get acrylic on top of my natural nail. 
Um, then I got a super light natural color and my fingers are super orange from this tan and my face is getting there. So I don't know how I feel about it so far. And my toes are done too. I got like a super natural on my toe. And my mother is gonna be here in two hours and all hell's gonna break loose when she gets here, but whatever. You guys will see her bright and early in the morning. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. And those are my flowers that are beautiful. Can I give anything to say? I love those flowers and this burrito. Thank you for my nails. <laughs>